Well, hello, it is April 5th, 2022, and this is Thoughts from the Word. Well, hello and welcome back to Thoughts from the Word. I'm glad that you're here with me today. Today, I want us to take some time to really think about, about Jesus and uh, uh, about uh, his presence with us. Uh, in the Old Testament, we see many times where uh, the word manifestation or manifest is used to describe an appearance of God. Uh, God coming and appearing before, manifesting himself, coming in, in the likeness of man in some way as a type of Christ. And in, in uh, Matthew chapter 1, we're given an interesting verse that uh, describes the pre- God coming and manifesting himself among us through his Son. Let's look there, uh, Matthew 1, verse 23. Hear now the word of the Lord. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. Now, this verse is a quote. We're told all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet in verse 22. This takes place, or it was first first stated in Isaiah 7, verse 14, where the prophet Isaiah prophesied that a virgin would give birth to a son, and his name would be called Emmanuel. And here we see the fulfillment of that prophecy made in Jesus Christ. But this manifestation of God in the person of his son is different because note the name Emmanuel. That was intentional in purpose, on purpose by God as a reminder to us, Emmanuel, God with us. Prior to the coming of Jesus Christ, God was present and at times was present with the people. For instance, in the Exodus with the pillar of cloud uh, <clears throat> and the pillars of fire, the smoke that, that filled the, the tabernacle <clears throat> were examples of God's presence. And, and then in vid, individual times in the life of Abraham and others, God would come and be present. But now he would bear a son whose name would be Emmanuel. For he would be God with us. And when we talk about God with us, then we we see that fulfilled even fuller in the power of the Holy Spirit who resides in us so that now we have Emmanuel every single day. God with us. He is with us. He guides us. He directs us. And we should take great comfort in that, in our afflictions, uh, but also in the good days, whenever th- wherever we are, whatever we're doing, that God is with us. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. He is there. And we are to be reminded of that and remind ourselves daily that we don't serve this this far off Lord that we can't see, who who resides way away in some heavenly city that we may may get to one day in the future. No, we serve a God, the Almighty God, who is with us now through the death and resurrection of His Son, and imputed to us His righteousness, and has given us life, and lives within us, is with us through the power of His Holy Spirit. What a great comfort that is to know that God is with us. Thomas Mallory, a Puritan pastor from the 1600s in in the book Puritan Sermons, 1659 to 1689, writes this on this particular passage. The clearest manifestation of God to us is revealed in Jesus Christ, John 1, 18. His eternal Godhead is also manifest in the works of creation, Romans 1.20. The knowledge of God in creation, however, is not able to restrain the vain imaginations and idolatrous conceptions of God that lie in men's hearts. Also, much of the eternal Godhead is manifested in the works of his providence. Sometimes God was working forward or before Job, sometimes backwards or behind him, sometimes on his right hand, sometimes at his left hand. Job followed him up and down that he might understand God and the reason and the design of all his works, but he could not perceive it. We also see the eternal God in his righteousness and holy law. 
But this manifestation of God frightened those who saw it at first. Hebrews 12, 21. The clearest, sweetest, and most comfortable manifestation of God to us is made only in Jesus Christ, who is the image of the invisible God, Colossians 1, 15. In Christ, God has revealed himself as no other means can. Christ is the exact copy or character of the Father's person and perfections, Hebrews 1, 3. When Philip desired for Christ to show him the Father, Jesus said, Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Believe me, I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, John 14, 9, and 11. In the works of creation, God is above us. In his works of providence, he is outside us. In the law, he is against us. In himself, he is invisible to us. Only in Christ is he Emmanuel, God with us. God manifested in our flesh. He is God in us, God with us, and God for us. Therefore, no man ever did or ever can understand anything of God, truly that is upon a saving account, except in and by Jesus Christ. 1 Timothy 6.16 let us not forget that Christ is with us. And it's the clearest, best picture we have of the God who loved us so much that he gave himself for us. Take comfort in that, brothers and sisters, and know that Jesus Christ is with you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that you sent your son for us and that in him we have life and forgiveness and that in him we see you each day. For your spirit works in and through us, and, and you have manifested yourself to us in him, and in, in your spirit. And Lord, we are yours because of what Christ has done. I pray, O oh Lord, that you would be with us, and that you would use us today for the glory and the furtherance of your kingdom. Build your church through us. Be glorified in us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thank you for being with me today. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow as we continue to hear some thoughts from the Word.